Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to Total War Room 2. I am bringing you a brand new campaign on a hard difficulty and that is Parthia. I'm going to be Parthia in this campaign, so let's begin. The time has come to establish a new and great empire in the East. War with Porthava is inevitable if you're to consolidate your position. However, patience is advised. They have no love for their Seleucid masters, and allowing them to rebel first will ensure that they receive no military support from their overlords when you strike. Taming the northern tribes may buy you the time you need. Alliances with other satrapies are a possibility, although you should be wary of limiting your expansion options. The decision is yours. All hail the new Parthian Empire. Okay, so here we are, with Parthia objective issued, control 8 settlements either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military ally ally allies. So we have one province to begin with and that is Nisa, and look how far east we are in this campaign. We're all the way over here, completely the other side of the world. Long way away. This should be interesting, this should be fun. I want to go east, as far east as I can possibly go. So this is our general. Oh, may I serve we have eastern spearmen, heavy cavalry, but horse archers, horse skirmishers, interested. We only have one province to begin with. We need to be taking Parthava by the looks of it. Uh, check diplomacy for a second. So we have no enemies. And we have Dahai as my military ally, and they are to the north of us. So, interesting enough for me. Uh, Masagetai are north of us. Who are. I'm trying to work out at the moment. Dahai. They're going to allies either. Parthaver. We're going to be at war with these by the looks of things. They're a satrapy of the Seleucid Empire. These guys are friendly as well. With the Arya. I'm gonna see if I can get some trade with these to begin with then. Please be seated and take wine to cool the head before we hit the day with I'll offer them some money. Nope, they're not interested. I'd like to get some allies to begin with. Can't get trade with them. These guys are friendly as well. Can't trade with them. Okay, there's not much we can do in this first turn then. Oh, we've got another army down here. Champions of the Fire of Victory. And the Truth of Mithra. Look at the cavalry units. God, life. It's an awful lot of cavalry. Right, I'm going to begin this campaign by looking at my settlement and upgrading a few things. So we'll, uh, we'll get an eastern village to begin with. And I'm going to have to do some technology as well. I'll start with some civil stuff, so we'll... Just start out with that to begin with. I have a spy over here. He can go south of me. We'll do a little bit of exploring. And look, there's barely anybody in this province. So this will be our first target, I think. Susa. Susia. Susia? Susia. Right, we'll go with Susia. So we'll look to be taking them out to begin with. Um. I wouldn't mind recruiting some more infantry in this army, to be to be honest. we got spearmen, got a lot of cavalry. Oh, look at that. Parthian horse archers. What mercenaries have we got in this region? Pretty much the same as what we have. I will go with some... some eastern slingers. And some eastern spearmen, to begin with. For that army. Um... Can we build anything else? Undeveloped land. We can actually expand the city as well. So we will expand the city. There we go. Little animation there of expansion. We'll end this turn, this first turn of this campaign. And we'll see what happens in this end turn phase. So basically, I decided to pick these because they are something different. Um, 
I've seen a lot of other YouTubers on their Total War channels doing Let's Plays, and most of them are doing Rome, Iceni, CAB, Carthage. So I thought I'd go with an Eastern faction for my second Let's Play because I've already got Carthage, which is Europe. So I thought I'd get two different kind of theatres of war and try to balance it out a little bit with my channel. But I'm gonna have to get used to these these different units that they have now as well. Which should, should, should take me some time. We can actually construct something here. So we can have a levy camp, which will give me javelin men and a garrison of eastern spearmen. A nomad camp, plus three for food. Food's important. Public order. Eastern influence provides garrison. I'm gonna go with the nomad camp because of the wealth that it will provide me early on. And this army is still ready for battle. I was thinking I'll try and get a full stack here actually. Um a bit more infantry. There we go. I think I'll go with probably that much. I'll try and look at diplomacy again, I think. See if we can get something out of diplomacy. Where else have we got? Who can we trade with to begin with? Sort by trade. Aria, that's all we can trade with is these. Greetings, most excellent friend. Be at home and speak. Because they're a satrapy of the Seleucids, I can't really do anything about about that at the moment. Darhe are my allies, which is really good news because I can actually have them to help me take the rest of Parthia. I can just say Greetings, attack wherever friend. and Greetings. I think it'll be then. We can work together, hopefully. So we'll end turn again, but there's anything else to do in this end turn phase. Slowly recruiting my my main army here in the south. I will recruit a few units in Nisa as well, with my general there. Oh, I could have moved my spy, actually. I should have moved my spy, but I'll do that this turn now. Just to see how things are. The problem I got is that... Um, oh. What's this? I respectfully ask for an attack okay, on so people. our so allies, Dahe, want us to go to war with Khorasmi in the north. Looks like they're going to go one region. I'm going to join the war. May as well. I need an enemy to begin with. And they're quite a bit away from me anyway. But I can actually move through their lands. Oh, what's this? I bring word. That my lord looks to they end want peace war. with us. He will not look to end it What's in it for me? I'm gonna create satrapy, I think. Is this first one? Uh no. I won't mind so many. Nope. If they're not gonna give me money, I'll go to war with you. Simple as. That was interesting little play there in the the diplomacy part of this game. So straight away we've got our first enemy in this campaign. Research completed. War target available so I can now say that we'll march up there together and we'll fight them together which is something I probably will do now that we have an enemy. Um, I could probably do a land up there if I want to expand north but I'm gonna to have to take this general Ready for orders. And recruit some more troops. So I'm going to go with some three units of spearmen, two units of horse archers, and two units of skirmishers to begin with. Yeah. One more turn for the eastern village to be built. And we'll pick something else for technology now. We have social organization. Uh, this will give us wealth and tariff. I should probably go with the first one here organize supply. Yeah, we'll go with that one for now. Um, I'm just going to keep these on the border. Oh, if I recruit a new trooper, done. I'll leave him there for now. I'll probably put him in ambush around here somewhere in case they do attack me. Then I, at least I got some force to repel them. I won't move my spy At your service. elsewhere down here, I think. As you command. Let's explore this region. Because all these are Seleucid Empire uh, satrapies, so they have a small garrison force there. 
as the Isle There's a coastal Life. village there as well. Just wanted to see what the map is like down here. I think we're going this direction next, down here somewhere. Trading see who's down there. Um, Awaiting Parthia's bidding, my lord. I might actually rename one of my units. Uh, we call these the Brotherhood without banners. There we are. The Brotherhood without banners. Banners, there should be an S. <laughs> it actually won't let me put an S in, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. Let's call the Brotherhood then. It'll be known as the Brotherhood, and this force will be known as. The Creed. The Assassin's Creed reference there. So there we are, we have the Brotherhood and we have the Creed. Both Assassin's Creed references, really, the Brotherhood. Brotherhood without banners, of course, Game of Thrones. Um, I should probably use one of my forces to go north. At your command. But they're in master mode at the moment, I can't do anything about that. These are allies over here and these are enemies over there. Um, can I recruit any agents in this? Oh, I need technology to recruit some agents. Okay, so we'll turn again. Get a quick start to this campaign. I don't know if we'll have a battle in this campaign uh, episode yet. We'll have to wait and see how things go. So we're going through the end turn phase now. Well, quite quickly, actually, if you think about it. You think there's 117 factions, quite quick. Oh. Ally attacked. Uh oh. Masageta, I have now attacked my ally. We'll enter the war, why not? Well, it looks like we're going to be fighting in the north. Try and take some of those. Nomadic tribes out of the game. Like the Massagetti and the Scythians. Trade gain likes barbarians. Okay. And it's time I go north and help my allies out over here now. So, to be. A few more turns Martha? to go. They, I wanted to move this army, which Ready I can now. 55% chance of ambush there. Uh, 25% chance there, 55 there, 65 here, we go here then. The arrow flies. At ease. Yeah, we go there because there's a 65% chance of ambush. So if I do get attacked from the south, at least then I might be able to ambush my enemies. This army, what uh, we'll wait one more turn, oh, I can always hire mercenaries further on up to help out. Got a lot of money now as well. We can actually upgrade a few more things. Uh, we can go for a farm, or we can wait for the Kanat and go with the farm, give us some more food, and it'll give us a garrison of mob units as well. At your command. So we'll click diplomacy again. See if there's anything else we can do. I don't think there is. Doesn't look like it. Let's go back down here, get to my spy, see if we can discover anything else for me no one. in I this region. The world for Let's get him over the borders. Can I assist you further? I'm gonna actually get him to go across here. Do a little exploring for us. We fight so we'll end turn once more. Lord. Bit of a slow start to this campaign, but Hopefully it will pick up when we start fighting in the north during the next couple of turns. I'm actually going to tell my ally to attack Kath in the north. Maybe together we can take that province. It looks like he's recruiting units as well, my ally. Which should come in handy. I'm going with a, a lighter force to the north simply because I think that I'll be able to rely more on his 
uh, units rather than my own. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. No point in me wasting money on units if he can recruit some for me. So we'll begin by branching to their borders. It will take me a few turns. The Brotherhood as they march forward. This army is going to go there. And we will put their stance into ambush. Concealed from view. So there we are, ambushed army now. But there. We fight for you, my lord. I think I can hire Cynthian horse archers. Might prove in handy. So I got a mixture. I got four units of spearmen and four units of art, uh, of cavalry, which I'll be able to use. Plus I got my general unit as well. The good thing though, I am going to worry too much on skirmishers because I got my own archers with the Parthian and Cynthian horse archers. Um, what are they doing over here? The Wayward Warriors and the Steeds of Doom. Interesting enough. Right, let's see. My spy can go over here. Can't find any provinces anywhere. It's a couple over here. I shall rest a while. I'll go around here, I think. I go. Yeah, we'll go down there. See what's down there. Um probably end turn again. Let's just double check everything. Nisa We're losing a bit of public order. Can I recruit another general? I can. Okay, we will go with let's see. He's four out of three. Three four out of three, four, three. I'll go with your other families. And I'll go with him because he's got an easier name to say. Oh, and he can have Royal Cataphracts. At your command. We get him in the straight away, the population are a bit happy again. Uh, what's the cheapest unit we can have? Just a unit of spearmen, just to give him something. And we'll end turn now. We've got quite a bit of money. Oh, what's this? Technology. Okay, glad they remembered to... Glad they reminded me to do that. We'll just go with this for now, for the markets. And we'll see if we can perhaps engage the enemy. Or set a battle up for next time anyway. So we'll see what we can do as we go through the end turn phase again. Oh my god. I can't afford to break my alliance really, can I? I want to keep as many allies as I can. Um, What to do? They're over there, back to you. They've got quite a strong force as well. I don't want to be caught up in some war in the north. Uh, we'll enter the war now, like, just so I don't bring an alliance. I can always try and get a ceasefire with them if things go wrong. But it looks like I'm going to have to head east like they have done. If they could take that up, which they have, they've taken that, that's great. <laughs> looks like I've made a good decision to stay with my allies. In that case, we can follow them to the east, I think. It helps take some of those Bactrian provinces. And at least with those Bactrian provinces I won't have any enemies to the east of me or to the north because that's where the map ends I think so our plans are changing all the time. We have a lot of enemies all of a sudden. Bactria is over here in these provinces. So I think what I'll do I'll bring my force at your command why can't I go across? Why is he go? Oh, I hate the pathfinding. I've just gained nothing. Stupid. I just, I just, oh, look at this. I clicked to go there just then, and he's going to go all the way around over this bridge. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I will travel the world for Parthia. Right, go there. At once. Unfortunately, that's a waste of a turn. My lord. My ambush force is there. I serve Parthia. We still got quite a lot of money. Um, I could probably recruit some more mercenary units if I have to. I'm not going to bother yet. Don't think I need them yet. I got ten units at the moment anyway. 
my my full stack could probably recruit. So, what have we got? We got infantry. We have horses. I got some slingers. I'll have another unit of slingers then. Come, join our ranks. And I will go with just another spearman unit for now. Just to give me that infantry. At your command. Uh, don't really need anything here. The executors of the fire of great purpose. If you guys want to name this army here, let me know in the comments and I will rename it to whatever you guys decide. Um, we'll end turn once more. I think I'll wrap the video up then. So we have war with three different enemies now in the north and the east. Although we haven't actually started that war yet. We soon will be. I think that spy unit, I think I may actually take him to Bactria from there now. So I'll know what's the south of me on the way, on the way to Bactria. So that's one idea which I think I'll do. Uh oh, uh oh, there's trouble. Ah, oh, they've taken it back. Well, there we are. <laughs> Bukhara. They're going back to take it. And they've retaken it. Well done. Well done, my friends. Do not fear. I will be there soon. I wish we were at war with these northern tribes now. We could all, both of us could work together and take in Bactria out. And then we could sort of consolidate the east, the easternmost part of the map between us. I could always stab them in the back and take their province. But that would be mean of me. And they'd be fucked if that happened. So, we'll see. But peace negotiated between Patheva and Sagardic. Saga Sagatia. Our hidden's been exposed, that's fine. Encourage populace, that's good. Uh, my agent, I want to move I him no one. over here. Softly. Back to his round book here. So we'll just click him like that and he can go with his own accord then. We've discovered some of these forests now, some of these regions. We kind of know where things are. Um, where's my province? Over here. So my general. At your command. I'm going to push him, put him, there, put him there first. You have further orders? And then there second. At once. Well, to the bridge. I'm going to take him to the bridge. As the arrow flies. To help reinforce. I have this large army here we just sitting here. You, my lord. But it's all for a good cause. I may as well make them a full stack army. Yeah, there'll be a full stack army. Nisa is, is very happy with me at the moment. I need to take these anyway. These provinces along here. So I'm going to have to go to war with the south soon. Um, Not much happening apart from that really. Agents been sorted out. Technology. Uh, we're doing that at the moment I think. They're in ambush. One more end turn and then I definitely will end. Oh. Technology. Where are we? Here we are. So we have... Food markets, seed and plow, wealth and agriculture, and I go with the seed and plow, making sure I get all my agricultural benefits and my bonuses, wealth bonuses to begin with, just so I know that I'll be able to finance large armies when I do eventually build them. Because I have three armies at the moment, but one of them's just staying in my capital, and the other one's on the outskirts in case the South do wage war with me. That they're ready to ambush. I'd rather be precautionate at the moment while I get used to this campaign and this playstyle. I haven't played Parthia before. Ah, and they've retaken that province. Now, the question is do I think I can take that province and actually hold it with what I got? Probably not hold it, but I think I could probably take it with assistance, which is what I intend to do. And here we are at the end of the end turn phase. My Lord. I'm really waging war with these guys at the moment. I think first. it's time now that I actually Is that all, give my, my allies a war target. So how do I do that? I think it's through diplomacy. I 
think it's through diplomacy that we should do that. Um, set war coordination target. There we go. There's the target right there. If we can take that province and perhaps take the one to the south of it, Bactria will be crippled. I mean, it's still got Bactria itself, but at least their northern frontier will be crippled and we'll have all of this to ourselves. We have our target anyway. Can I get any further across the bridge? I don't think I can. No, where are you going? Oh, I hate the pathfinder on this game. Stupid. Okay, we have what cruelty do you full wish? stack oh, here. We have some Be here as well. You, so I'm going to end this episode there, guys. So let me know if you want to rename this army for me. At the moment, they're called the Executors of the Fire of Great Purpose. But let me know in the comments if you want to rename them and what that name will be. I'll put it in my next uh, episode. But that's the end. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you've enjoyed this new Let's Play series of Parthia. Until next time, goodbye.